Oh yeah, welcome back to another Adrian Graphics video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I have a very special topic that goes all the way back 13 years of my career as I've been doing this as a professional graphic designer. But before we get into it, I ask you that you please go check out my channel by subscribing and hitting the little bell so you get updates of all my videos. Like I said a few times on my previous videos, I got a ton of content that's coming your guys' way for graphic designers, for creators, for web designers, and digital marketers. I got a lot of good stuff coming, so make sure you subscribe, hit the follow, or hit the bell so you get all that great content. So. We're gonna get into it today and we're gonna talk about how to become a graphic designer in 2020. Man, that's a big deal. It seems like it was just yesterday, 2007, where I was starting my professional career as a graphic designer and so much has changed since then. So I got 10 tips for you guys that I'm gonna share with you on how to become a professional graphic designer. Maybe you're doing graphic design as a hobby, maybe you even know a little bit of Photoshop or Illustrator and you wanna take it to the next level and start making money. Well, I'm gonna share 10 tips so let's get right into it. All right, number one is you need to learn the programs. These programs are so powerful. Adobe Creative Cloud or the Adobe Creative Suite, whatever you wanna call it, has a suite of programs that allow you to do graphic design and really utilize the functionality of Adobe. Adobe is a powerful, powerful system that you can get pretty much anything you want out of it if you know how to use the programs right. So whatever your interest is in, if it's Illustrator, if it's Photoshop, if you're into photography, I would recommend Photoshop and Lightroom. If you're into illustrating and drawing, then try Illustrator. Illustrator is a great tool. It allows you to create things in a vector format and there's just so much you can do out of it. But one thing you're gonna have to know is how to use those programs. Well, you're in luck. I'm gonna be creating content on how to use those programs and there's other great YouTubers out there that are very well known, that have huge followings, that have created amazing content on how to use the programs. The first one I'm gonna mention is Terry White. Terry White is an amazing guy. He does tutorials, he's an Adobe evangelist. I've learned a ton of good stuff from him. And then there's Tutvid. So Tutvid and Terry White, those two are really highly recommended YouTube guys that teach graphic design, that teach uh, Photoshop, teach Illustrator, all of those really, really great programs. Okay, number two is you're gonna need to find inspiration. Terry, Wright, Terry White is one of my inspirations. Jaza is one of my inspirations. Uh, I have a friend here locally named Andy. He's one of my inspirations. You need to go out there and find inspiration of artwork that fits your style, that fits your personality, and fits the things that you like to do, that you like to create. Whatever it is that you draw, if it's comic books, if it's uh, uh, videos, whatever that is, you need to find inspiration in those areas. I cannot stress that enough. Finding inspiration in the areas of your interest is super, super important. And then number three is once you've kind of gotten the systems down of how the programs work and you've played around with it a few times, you need to actually start practicing that daily because it's gonna come quicker and quicker the more you use it. I cannot stress that enough, is you have to practice daily. Now, many of you are probably saying, well, I'm busy, I got a nine to five, I've got a family, I don't know how I'm gonna fit that in. All it takes is 10 or 15 minutes a day. If you really want it bad enough, you'll make the time for it. Getting up an extra 15 minutes early, and just practicing, practicing something simple, whipping out a simple design, a simple illustration, it doesn't take that long to do something very basic. Maybe it's just a little, uh, little character, maybe it's a little smiley face, whatever it is, you need to practice with it daily. It could be the pen tool. Maybe you pick one tool in the program and just practice using that day after day. And after a certain amount of time, you're gonna get very comfortable and hopefully you'll learn some of those shortcut keys. That is a really big deal as well. Number four is I want you to watch tutorial videos of other people like Terry White, Tutvids, Jaza. There's a lot of people out there that you can watch their tutorials, including mine as I start to release a ton of content for you guys. You need to go out there and watch tutorials. 
every single day, another 15 minutes. So maybe you spend 15 minutes in the morning doing a little design and then you get re-inspired for the following day in the evening, another 15 minutes before you go to bed. I can't stress to you how important it is to practice and to have inspiration. That is what fueled me. I was doing nightlife flyers at the very beginning of my career, creating club flyers and restaurant flyers and all those things. And I had an inspiration, like I mentioned, Andy, who was creating just phenomenal work and I wanted to figure out how he did that. So having that inspiration and watching tutorials every single day is gonna be a huge way for you to make leaps and bounds forward in progress and growth as a professional graphic designer. Number five, this is a very important one as well, is you need to start designing for other people and getting requests for free. Do it for free. Put it out there, hey, I'd like to learn, I'm trying to get some experience, I wanna build a portfolio, who needs some graphic design services for free? I guarantee you if you put that on Twitter, you put that on Instagram, you put that on Facebook, you're gonna get people that contact you and say, hey, I would love to try you out. I, I need this design, or hey, I need a business card done, or hey, I need this graphic done for my social cover. There are lots of opportunities and lots of people out there with very tiny budgets that would love to have your graphic design skills, even if they're new, for free. That's a really great way. And then number six, is you need to start building your portfolio. So once you've done a bunch of those free projects, you can get on sites like Behance, which is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud. And you get on Behance and you create this content that is related to the graphics that you've been building for people for free. That is a really good way to build your portfolio. Is once you start doing free work, you just let them know, hey, I'm gonna put this up on my portfolio. And you wanna start getting feedback from those people of what they think of the work. Make sure that you keep open-minded, that you don't take it personally, that you don't get offended by their criticisms, because all of those criticisms are opportunities for you to increase your skills and get better as a professional graphic designer. Super, super important, okay? Number seven is a very good one. It's lucky number for a lot of people, but I want you to Stay inspired. It's very easy to get overwhelmed with doing free work and building a portfolio and learning all this stuff. You can get really overwhelmed, but creativity and pa uh, creativity is fueled by inspiration. A lot of the things that I've created over my 15 years of doing this as a graphic designer, from being a hobby to my to now has been a lot of inspiration of other artists, other people. Jeff Granito is a really good one. You can check him out on Instagram. He's got powerful illustrations that he does. He works for Disney and a lot of really massive corporations doing graphic design. He is somebody that I still to this day look up to and hope that I can reach that level of graphic design in my career. Now graphic design isn't something that I do on a daily basis anymore because I'm so busy doing marketing and training and speaking and YouTube videos like this, but it is a hobby of mine. I've been able to take my passion for graphic design which was my income for years, for over a decade, and now I've moved into the digital marketing world and moved into the speaking world, and that is where my income's coming from. So now, I get the pleasure of doing graphic design as a hobby. I didn't do it the other way around. It wasn't, I mean, it was a hobby for me at first for a short period of time, just for friends and family, but it quickly became a career, and it can become a career for you. But you gotta know how to do it right, and you gotta build up for your portfolio. So number eight, and this is a really cool little trick, is actually using sites like Adobe Stock and Shutterstock and downloading illustrations and Photoshop files that are already created from other artists. Look at the way they structure their layers, look at the way they structure their files, look at the way they create their paths. There's so many different things that you can learn from other people's artwork and their native files. Those files that you download that are Photoshop files, AI files, EPSs, SVGs, those are artwork pieces that you can actually dissect and look at and even use parts of those in your own artwork. It's okay to reuse them if you've paid for the licenses, but don't steal people's artwork without getting permission first unless you've paid for the license like Adobe Stock or Shutterstock, very important. Number nine, is I want you to share your journey of what you've been doing from the first day of your first design all the way to your 30th day. I want you to share that and I wanna hear your comments. I wanna see how far you've come. I want, you, I want your emails, I want your contact, I wanna to get to know you. You guys are my audience, you guys are my tribe, you guys are the people that I'm here to help and I love and I care about you. I know you don't know me, but I do genuinely love you guys. And number 10, and last but not least, I want you to go out there and get your first close. I want you to get your first paid project. Once you've done at least 30 days of design and you're feeling comfortable enough and you're getting great feedback from the people that you've designed for free, and they're telling me, I got to pay you something. I got to give you something. I got to give you something. That is when you know that you need to start charging. So that may happen on your fifth design. That may happen on your 50th design, or that may happen on your 500th design. But at some point you're going to need to stand firm and say, Hey, my time, my talent, and my energy, and my passion for graphics is deserves to be paid for. 
So that's the point where you become a paid graphic designer. And that's what I want for you guys today. So those are the 10 tips. I hope you guys can go out there and make it happen. Follow those steps one through 10 over and over again. And if you need help, if you get stuck somewhere, please feel free to reach out to me. And like I said, I'm gonna be creating more content and more videos for you guys to follow and you can learn and pick up stuff. So hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, keep looking up.